All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube, if you're watching this later, for our next deck, which is going to be Grixis Dragons. Um, we have four donation decks to go through today, um, and Grixis Dragons is going to be our second. Uh, this specific build uh, was made by a friend of mine, Jerry Terry, um, in the Dallas, te Texas area, um, who's been playing a ton of... Um, uh, Grixis Dragons just kind of in general and this is like the the 75 that he's been playing a lot recently so this is what we're going to go ahead and try out because uh, uh, we had a person make a purchase through Quip yesterday and if you make a purchase through Quip or through MVMT uh, movement um, then you can get your own donation deck so they wanted to see some dragons so here we are we got some dragons um Basically, what we're trying to do is get these dragons out as early as possible and have them take over, especially Hellkite and Niv-Mizzet. But, of course, Nickel Bolas can do that as well. We have Sarkin and Dragon's Horde, which, can, which help us ramp uh, into the dragons and provide card advantage as well, both of those cards, uh, both really good cards. You see how we have a, a quite a bit of one-mana uh, instant speed spells here with two dive downs, two spell pierces, and two fungal infections? And that's because whenever we do play Niv-Mizzet, uh, we would prefer to be able to have 7 mana and either have a dive down or a spell pierce to protect it or even just casting a fungal infection is good as well. Casting any any instants and sorceries while you have Niv-Mizzet in play is always a good idea. Um, plus, uh, the 1 mana spells also work pretty well with Dragon's Horde. You know, like th turn 3 we play our Dragon's Horde and we can still have interaction held up as well. So, let's give it a try. We got uh, some Grixis... Dragons. Oh, Sador Re, I just saw your message there. That's that's a, a real unfortunate. Did you try? Uh, I don't, yeah, you know, it was three or four years ago, but maybe. Not sure if you tried like returning the watch, because um, it does say that they have free returns. Um, but yeah, it sounds like you got sounds like you got a bad watch there. And I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, Holy Hagen, yeah. I was thinking that too, and even even like the same with my my Twitch channel. I think my profile picture is just too much of my face, um, in general. So that's some good feedback. So, do you think it would be better if I let's see? We got Tempest Gen, Siren Storm Tamer, Dive Down, huh? So do you think it would be better if I have just, like, a profile picture of, like, you know, like, my face, like, from here to here? Or should I just use, like, my logo that I'm using on, on YouTube? Should I just use my logo as, like, my profile picture? Um, I'm actually kind of thinking of doing that instead of my face just in general. Just have, like, the logo. Um... So this is a tough, tough call. Um... Dive down is going to be kind of annoying on like the Tempest Gen to be able to to get through these things, but I don't really want them to have Curious Obsession either. And I guess it's just Curious Obsession. I was thinking about taking the storm, the Tempest Gen, honestly, because like the one one isn't going to bother us too much, but giving them the Obsession does let them like hit with the Obsession this turn. Correct, yeah, right now, YouTube and Twitch here are the same headshot. And so I was thinking about using, yeah, the logo that I use on Discord. We begin. I was thinking about just taking, switching the Twitch and YouTube to I be like the this. Discord I need logo. This. Yeah, so just the tie. And that, that's probably better for the YouTube channel also, honestly. Maybe I just... All right, so good suggestions. I'll, I'll try to do that tomorrow. Um, <laughs> a 
little pain won't stop me. All right, so we can either play Niv Mizzet or Ritual. Of I'm just gonna cast this Ritual of Set here. Um, even though Niv Mizzet would have been great. Madness. <laughs> but what we don't have to worry madness? about Niv Mizzet getting countered. Yeah, no good. Um. Yeah, good suggestions. I think I was I was trying to decide what I wanted to do with the logo because I I don't really I didn't really like just my face here on Twitch and on YouTube anyway. Um, so I was actually just considering of like I summon you, taking a like taking like a different picture of myself or something. I couldn't really think of what to do, but yeah, I should just use my logo that I have on Discord. I can just make that like my logo. It's in, like, the YouTube thumbnails and everything. It's easy. Don't doubt my methods. Yeah, the opponent, so yeah, the opponent played their dive down earlier so that they would have enough instance chilling over here to be able to pump the Terramander. I fear no pain. Um... Yeah, like we're just gonna, you know, like we're just out racing our opponent. Rewinded Sun with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. That's sub at number four on the day. I really do appreciate that. I don't know why do they use. I'm not sure why they used two counters there. Thank you for that support, Rewinded Sun. I'm gonna activate Hellkite. Deal two to them. I'll just play this thing. And they're down to one. Nivmiz, it's great. The dragon does not lose. And we get to ping him with Niv to finish the game off. All right, I need to write this. Let me write something down real quick.
writing this order number down that was sent. All right. It turns out Niv is pretty okay. Pretty okay. All right, let's get this other fun fungal infection in there. Those uh, ritual sets were amazing. Dress has got to be pretty good, too. I mean, I like Bedeviled, Negate, Disdainful Stroke. Not the Disdainful Stroke, sorry. But I like Bedeviled, Negate as well. It's got to be a pretty good matchup for us. Um, maybe Sarkin and Dragon's Horde are like the cards that aren't too good for us. You think dive down can go? Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking that too. No, Bedevil's not too slow. Um, instant speed is is pretty nice. Be able to you know, like play it at their end step and then you know make them counter something on their end step and then you untap and you play something else that they have to counter. Like instant speed just makes it makes it good. If I don't play Sarkin or Dragon's Horde, is that like? Can I still play these other dragons and stuff? Like, do I need Sarkin and Dragon's Horde? Like, I'm going to go with this. Let's go with this. So, like, I am kind of worried about, like, if we're behind, Sarkin just, like, not only, you know, like, is Sarkin kind of an easy thing to counter, but if we're behind, Sarkin is just going to die to their attackers. Yeah, I don't really like Varix that much either. Maybe Varix is the card that I could trim instead of Sarkin. Because, yeah, maybe we just need the mana that Sarkin can provide. Um, they're at five, or they're at six cards right now. I mean, if we hit land drops, this hand's you know this hand's great. If we hit land drops, I'll give it a try. They're on six cards. Shouldn't be, um, you know, too amazing of a hand. Hopefully. Hey, Lee the Panther. Do they have a spell pierce also? Wow. All right, can we draw removal? Removal, please. Removal. Dang. Hmm. It's removal, but a little too expensive for my taste. Could certainly be a loss. We'll see if we get to like Nimmiz it. For how this has worked out, you know, of course, I wish I would have taken the deep freeze instead of the dive down by now.
Okay, I got the, that thing out of there. So we're dead. So I didn't take that. Di I didn't take the deep freeze. But of course, they would have been able to counter the coil. All right. That that just didn't work out. Um. All right, we take out these blade wings and add Sarkins. Try to get that extra mana. Dive down can be great against deep freeze. That is kind of like their only answer to our stuff. But, oh well. Thief's not really that early of a flyer. Gets outclassed quite easily. And doesn't really work well with Ritual of Soot. Man, what do y'all think about this? If this wasn't tap land, tap land, I would, you know, definitely keep it. But this is tap land, tap land, where I'm looking at, like, turn three having a Thought Erasure. No, I think I'm just going to mulligan this. Uh. Again, Cry doesn't usually kill stuff. I think we keep this. I kind of think we keep this too. It is a frowny face keep. It is a frowny face keep, certainly. Alright, no red mana, but I'm not ditching another land. And I'll kind of wait a little bit on this dress, you know, give them a chance to draw a counter spell. Um. All right, let's go now because next turn we could we could potentially have the Hellkite next turn. And if we draw a land, we can Hellkite with Spell Pierce, which is really what I'd like. But of course, that's fine. I'll tr I'll trade the duress for negate. That's that's like what I have the dresses in for. This is working out. They could have deep freeze. Hey, what's up, QQ? Don't know why our opponent just threw the that dive down there. I really don't. Um, might as well just activate here, see what happens. Okay. I don't think they have any reason why I don't attack. Can't really think of anything.
Yep, QQ Image got the movement sponsorship up and going. I uh, talked about that one earlier. So holy heckin', so you, you really like the, the face part of the logo, not the the Discord logo? Here, I'll show you the show you the logo for Discord. We talk, we've been talking earlier, if you're just kind of joining, about maybe switching the logo. Um, let's keep. Use like this, this right over here, right above the ting. That's what I use there for the, the, uh, Discord logo. Mono blue again. So they're at six cards. Coil something. Might as well coil this Storm Teamer. I mean, we can we can block Storm Teamer, and we cannot block Herald. But still, if they have, you know, like, I'm not really too scared of either of the one ones right now. I'm not scared of Herald unless they would put Curious Obsession on it, which they're doing now. And if they had the Curious Obsession for it like this, uh, hmm, like that's the only reason why I'd be scared of that. I want a Dragon's Horde? Or Coil? I guess I'm Coiling. No, Coil gets, you know, it's a, the thing is Coil gets Spell Pierced right now. I could like maybe wait and try to have Coil not get Spell Pierced. But I think I just kind of want to play that and start dropping Dragons. So yeah, is it? Um, is that better than? So is that logo? You know, y'all are saying you like that logo. Is that logo better than my face? Like for for Twitch here, and for YouTube. Um, if I use that, I should start with Blade Wing. Do they have like the counter spell? I would rather them counter the Blade Wing than the Nicol Bolas. No, we don't need to start with the blade wing. We can make a couple. No, that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks, thanks, Cuzzy Noddle. That's a pretty good hand. We did get that sweet Varix Blade Wing animation, though. So, holy, um, what someone was saying earlier is that you'd still get, like, the, like, my face and the human side as, as soon as you, you know, like, click on the video, because, you know, I'm, I'm right here, um, or as soon as you click on the Twitch channel, um, and everything. Um, do you think do you think that's like not enough that it that it should be, um, like that front front page also? The other option is it you know just basically just take a picture where it's not like me from here to here, where it's me from like here to like here, so you can see like you know a tie and, and everything, and just kind of zoom out.
This is the problem with not getting the Dragon's Horde down earlier. We don't have we don't have the ability to draw extra cards. It triggered Niv some more. And <laughs> just my chin. <laughs> All Terramanders over and over. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, we'll kill this. Play that with the 1-1 one, one counter. Draw a card. Um, start pinging this trickster. Oh, I could kill. I could have killed a Tempest Gin. Niv is crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Um. Yeah, Hawkeye. Ha cartoon Hawkeye wearing tying glasses. It'd be kind of hard to do. Alright, Gruel Dinos whenever. Alright, so tomorrow. So tomorrow, late in the in the day, Gruel Dinos. I have I already have like today. Of course, I've, I'm booked up on donation decks. Thanks, Lord. So I can do that tomorrow later in the afternoon. Uh, later in the stream, like we were yesterday. What are we doing? Oh yeah, mono blue. All right, put those in. Put those in. Put those in. Those in. Uh, this. Take that. 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 And. It's our one other card that we take out. Oh, we took out these dive downs. Um, let's bring this back in. Oh, ritual. Get that in. There we go. Cool. Thanks, Mark. Um... Donation deck list just right in the in the in your message whenever you donate. Um, uh, yeah, just you know, like just put the link right in there. Uh, then I'll you know I'll be able to to see it right away. Um, yeah, we have duress return one. Uh, next question was. What do you have over here? Storm Tamers, so they can cast Retort next turn. Uh, was the N Naya Huatli user submitted? It was It was not, it was a donation for me to build it. So I, I built that deck, um, you know, kind of went with like a Bant Tokens kind of theme, but went Naya with it. Um, and so, yeah, I put that one together this morning. Well, I hope this one last card over here is not a dive down or a spell pierce that they just drew. They just drew off the Curious Obsession. All right, good. <laughs> Alright, Pro Clutch. Uh, a lot of essence captures over here.
I can kind of play around Essence Capture. Kind of. See, like that. Yeah, that, that makes that makes sense, Holy. Oh, there's no... Yeah, there's no... I see what you're saying. No, you won't, cuz. Cuz you're not all... No, I'm, I'm not going to. The the problem, yeah, so like an image related to the title. The problem is, you know, like I'm, I'm playing four decks every single day and, and finding like an image and I'm just, I'm not good with, um, I mean, I'm just, I'm just not, not good, too good with, uh, like, I don't know like how to do Photoshop and stuff. Um, I just have like, like these images, I, I know how to, you know, put the title in. And so I'm just going with like the, the logo of the, the thing, but I just, I don't, I don't really know what to do or how to, I don't know. I wouldn't know how to do, um, better thumbnails really. And during the time of like streaming and stuff, cause you know, like I'm uploading the YouTube videos while streaming and everything. Yeah. Okay. Use card artwork, but I, I don't. Yeah, I would like to use card artwork, but I don't know how to. Like, just saying use card artwork doesn't really help. Like, what is it? Like, how? No, it's okay that the thumbnails aren't that good. I just, I don't, I don't know how to do anything better. And this, that, uh, somebody else helped me just to do those. And so I, like, you know, I'm doing, like, while I'm streaming, I don't think I'll be able to like go find images and and make them and everything and make them really cool like while I'm streaming like this Yeah, I wouldn't I need like a an editor that can could do stuff like that. So is that their only so they discarded the other essence capture to Nicol Bolas. So we don't, yeah, don't know anything about that. Um. Certainly considering just flipping the Bolas and like killing the Tempest Gin. Yeah, you know, we have the seven mana to flip the bolus. All right, we got this win. This looks like we're gonna be 2-0 against Mono Blue. Our dragons are really good. Yeah, I. Yeah, I don't. I don't have. I don't have money to to go pay somebody to do, to be a YouTube editor. Unfortunately. Two zero. I thought those thumbnails looked pretty good. Because, you know, before it was just, like, this picture right here. And so I thought the thumbnails were, like, a, a good upgrade. I was actually, I've actually been really happy with them, but I, know, I guess they need to be better. So this, I guess maybe I shouldn't be keeping this. I mean, I, I like this mana here. I Yeah, I like our, our mana here. 
But I guess, like, the second Niv isn't doing much. These things are pretty expensive. The dive down doesn't do anything until we play these. I guess this just has to be a mulligan. <laughs> yeah, dragons... Dragons are good against mono blue, especially Niv. They can't counter it, and then... You know, when you have, like, the bigger creatures in the air, that's what uh, they're going to struggle with. Let's make sure we have two red sources in case we draw a Sarkin we want to play. Thanks, Vengeance Live and Gatsby. Um... I guess I do need to try to improve them, though. Hmm. Need to take Vivian. Frasca? That's even worse than Vivian. Cast down, unfortunately, is pretty good against me still, too. Uh, but I, I have to take Vraska. I can't beat Vraska. But, folks, it'd be like, you know, we're doing, like, four thumbnails every single day. And it's like, you know, a lot of times, like, you know, like, the decks are kind of decided of, like, what we're playing during the stream. So the turnaround time would be um, pretty rough to have somebody else do the thumbnails for them and stuff like that. Um, go to ten to play Blade Wing plus Coil. So we could shock Blade Wing Coil. Um, I would like to have another mana before playing Blade Wing, though. I'm just going to coil. The Hellkite, of course, just dies to, to the cast down. Um, I want seven mana so we can kick the Blade Wing. We get the two dragons. I guess I can just try to, you know, overload them with Hellkites. This trades with the Krasis. We take three. We play a Hellkite. Oh, I shouldn't have kept this Hellkite. We don't need the third. We only need two. You have the same basic thumbnail and maybe one or two cards from the deck. But that's that's what I don't know how to do. I don't know how to just, just like put cards onto a thumbnail. Or like how to make it look any any way good except for just like the actual like whole card image with like the whole text and everything.
Um, but yeah, editing the video, I, I certainly can't do. I, I have no idea how to ed edit video. I'm not, not a video editor person. So that's a little unfortunate. Uh, Ketchup Boy said, I was messing around with the Golgari Undergrowth deck earlier today. What are your thoughts on the deck like that in this sort of metagame? I think it's pretty good. I think that Golgari Undergrowth decks are usually pretty good against uh, control. Um, and you can uh, pick up some, some good points there. I don't know how long that would take to learn. I don't know how to do any of it. Like it's, you know, I'm a magic player. I don't, I don't know. It's nothing I've ever done in my life. Said I can I can find the the cards in a very high resolution in some page. Don't remember which. Yeah, I I, I don't know that page either. And then pay somebody to make a PS setup. It's a PS setup. Photoshop. Okay. Pay someone to make a Photoshop edit where you just have to replace the picture in Photoshop and then it's ready. Um, I can shock to be able to Thought Erasure hurt first before the Hellkite. I guess being at three and being at one isn't really any different. So might as well do that just to make sure this Hellkite can not get killed if they have a removal spell in hand. Like that Hostage Taker. Multani. What am I going to do about that thing? They're at 31. Photoshop, you can create a macro, which is a one button you can hit in each time you do it performs the same set of actions. Yeah, I would, I would need somebody to teach me how to do all that stuff. I've I've never even looked at Photoshop before. I don't even know what the program looks like. I don't I don't know anything about it. Um. I'll just throw all three of these creatures in front of Multani. What do I have in my deck that can deal with a Multani? I have one Bedevil. One Bedevil. So now I'm dead. Yeah. To have all my creatures block a Multani. Even if I play another Hellkite, I can only block the 4-6. So I can't block the 3-2. Okay, so Sultai... Against Sultai with this uh, 75, we kind of go on the Thief plan. 
So we're bringing in the thief. The thieves, the other ritual of set. Um. Cut the spell pierces. The fungal infections. You know, I kind of like fungal infection, but. I see what my friend was saying to do here. Yeah, and the disdain. And we cut a Sark and a Horde. And they said a Nickel Bolas, but I really like Nickel Bolas. I want to cut a Hellkite. Yeah, I'm kind of Hellkite. Yeah. We could have shot the 3-2, but we couldn't shoot the 3-2 and have another blocker, um, which we had to do both of those. We had to shoot the 3-2 and have a blocker for the 4-6, because all three of those creatures had to block the 10-10. So we couldn't do, couldn't do both of those. All right, all we need is, we need just a little bit more mana. I like how the Sarkin can help power out this Niv-Mizzet. Um, Okay, that's a start. We got Sarka next turn, turn four Niv, or you know potentially turn five Niv with the dive down. Hmm. Bolas told me I should do this. Sargon can take a hit for three, but then we can play Ritual Set next turn. And then the following turn, Niv plus dive down. I know what I'm doing. It's a little annoying. I'm just sitting away a branch walker, but. Such is life. Look to the skies. I could have dived down my Niv Mizzet and then they're forced to hostage taker their Hydroid Crisis. Um, but I don't really want them to hostage taker their Hydroid Crisis. You know, like if, if it was a creature that I would want them to hostage taker, that would have been an option. Um. I, I kind of want to just keep just keep disdainful stroke up. I'll show you unhinged. So unfortunately, I'm not playing anything here. I'm like one mana off of being able to like you know add mana and bolus and disdainful stroke and so on. If I thought erasure, they could have two answers to Niv in their hand. Like you know they could have two. Cool. All right, so that worked out pretty well, being on the play um, and having multiple answers to Hostage Taker. May not always be that easy, though. Yeah, that, that game was awesome.
Okay. Mulligan. <laughs> this ritual of soot can really save us. Uh, did we have bolus and stroke before we coiled? Since coiling the hostage shaker was not really necessary, I think. Uh, I just put the ritual of soot in my hand. Um, we did, yes. Have another duress. Go ahead. Duress again. Are they stuck on lands? They don't have, they don't have blue mana. I guess they're going to get blue mana here pretty quickly. They must have blue mana in their hand. It's a little surprising they want to keep Thief whenever we have Nickel Bolas, Nickel Bolas, Hellkite. It's like... Come on, please land. Please land. Please land. Hooray. Alright, so they got two cards, Thief and something else. Alright, so they just got a couple Thieves. But Bolas is good against Thieves. So is Hellkite. Come on, land. Land, please. Tilt. Yeah, Ritual so it would have been insane here for us. We have to go to four and play the Hellkite. And then we're dead. We're dead either way. Man, talk about an unfortunate game. Them's the breaks. Sometimes you draw all the nickel boluses. How would we have gone to one? If I like, I had a shock to pay. I had to. I had to pay two life to to play the Hellkite, um, which would have put us down to four. And they would have had lethal through two blockers. If I just leave the one blocker and block the three two, I'm taking lethal. Yeah, we had a shock land. <clears throat> strike, strike, chain whirler. I do have coil for chain whirler. So I guess let's take this lightning strike. Slow him down a little bit. <laughs> no, no 47 hour stream tonight. Oh, that that made my decision worse. That made my decision a little worse. Um Now I wish I would have just taken the Chain Whirler and them have a couple burn spells. I don't know if I, I wish that because don't like love that they get to just burn the chain, the Blade Wing. Okay. 
Attack with just Chain Whirler. Puts us down to eight. We're pretty stable. Get to Blade Wing and coil the uh, Chain Whirler. Good, they got another land. That's good. I will take all the cards out of their hand. They want to use a burn spell? Sure. All right, so we're both top decking, but I have this Dragon Sword, so it draws me another card. That's not a bad one. That's a pretty good one, in fact. Not even a bad one. Um, let's draw a card here. I don't think I have to be too worried about them. Like, I don't think I need to keep the dive down up um, on my 5-5. Five five. Madness. <laughs> what madness? I do not know if there's a way to change your name in Arena. I don't know. Okay, we got an Orzov deck for a donation. Uh, last or second to last. I can do either one um, on Saturday. Perfect. Uh, let's see, four. Are you ready? One one. So they have they have one turn to draw something that deals six damage to me. Which is unlikely. Fairly unlikely. Cool, yep. Mug and soul worked perfectly. Um so which one do you want? Last or second to last? I can do either one. Here is, if you're here in chat, here is the uh, link to the deck if you want to check it out. Orzov Unity. And it did this to Sultai. Second to last, perfect. Uh, we lost to Sultai for a match. Um, let's see, we're, we're playing against Model Red. Let's get these Negates, Duress, Fungal Infection, Cry of the Carnarium, Ritual of Soots, Thief of Sandies, Devil, maybe not the Devil. Maybe not Thief of Sandy either. Nah. We have enough dino or, uh, Dragons. We're going to take out the Hordes. Uh, this is 66. I'll dive down. Now nah, we don't need to dive down. Um, do I need three fungal infections in this matchup? Maybe not. Let's go to two. Thought erasure plus duress. Those are. Let's take out two thought erasures. Um, actually, I don't. I don't know if I love the cry. I'll play one cry. Actually, fungal infection instead of cry. Okay. 
I don't think I've played a white red prison. Not in a long time. I I've, I've played like uh, last format we played like some Boros control. Um, it wasn't really a prison deck, but it was a control deck with a lot of ramp and star of extinctions. Um, and uh, we've done like a blue red land destruction. I guess I need to keep the land. Um. I might have done a, a red-white land destruction as well, but basically not for a long time. Alright, let's coil this thing. Oh, I have Spell Pierce in the deck. Spell Pierce can go. We'll go to a game three. They usually can play around Spell Pierce pretty good. It's pretty hard to have Spell Pierce actually do stuff. I haven't I have not done that. I didn't have True Fire Captain with the Star of Extinction deck. Has anyone ever pulled that combo off? I've never tried it, I don't think. I yeah, may be forgetting something, but I don't think I've ever tried that. Alright, well, maybe the Spell Pierce will do something if they only have two mana. They just have five spells in hand. Hey, our Spell Pierce did something. What's the best exile list for climbing ladder? What do you mean by... Give me a little hint. Like, what do you, what do you mean by exile list? Like, okay, Esper list. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, I don't have... Ugh. Yay. That was a perfect draw step. Um, I don't have the best Esper list for climbing ladder, uh, to be honest. Um, Esper is not really a deck that I play too much in, but to be honest, I don't. Um, I don't do a whole lot of ranked either. We did kill the Whirly Boy. Sorry about that. Is it better just to do, make this a 4-4 and just go haste? So if we go haste, we attack for 8, put him to 12, and then put him to 4, and then kill them. So 3 turn clock. If we do the 5-5, five five, we hit him for 4 to 16, we attack for 9 down to 7, then we have activated ability for creature, and we still attack for 9, and we still kill him in 3 turns either way. But we have the activated ability if I do 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, you may want to... Or you could check out just like MTG Goldfish and like the different... Um, the different lists on like the... That they have there on the site for Esper Control and you can kind of... You know, see what you like, you know, like kind of try out a couple of them. Maybe, you know, one list you don't like so much, try a different one kind of thing. <laughs> Negate, you're a little late. Phoenix. There we go. There's our blue mana. Get this Niv Mizzet. Oh, 
no, down to three. That's pretty bad. Hopefully not a burn spell in hand. Okay, let's see. So I ping Phoenix. Fungal infection kills the Phoenix. Then they have the zero one. I need I would need to draw some spell to play with it. I'll just kill this thing. And pass. Oh, come on. We are down to one. Same thing. The two Viachino Pyromancers to deal damage while this Niv out. Can't you just draw some instant or sorcery so I can draw some cards? Are you kidding me? Just deal the last five damage with ETB effects from creatures? Come on. Yeah, three direct damages in a row, and it wasn't just, you know, it wasn't spells where I get to, like, draw cards and have negate and stuff like that and shoot their things down with Niv. It wasn't even spells, it was just um, creatures. Speaking of the thumbnails, though, I need to make this one for the Esper Exile we just played. Similar kind of hands that we had last time. But Devil's just cheaper than Contempt, so we got it in here. They're similar in nature. All right, so Frenzy is the card I'm scared of the most. Um, but they are a ways away from playing it. They only have two lands right now. I'm, I'm still just taking the Frenzy. Just in case. And I'm going to need to find another creature. Like, the Nickel Bolus is going to die to something. Whether it's Lava Coil or Wizard's Lightning plus Firebrand. The nickel ball, this is not too long for this world. Um, could just bedevil this firebrand and try to draw another land and then have bolus with spell pierce back up. I, of course, want to save lava coil for Phoenix. Methods. All right, that'll work. All 
I will call the dragons. That thing's bigger than a lava coil. They are coming! They have a full grip. Yeah, Sarkin's extra mana really helping out here. Alright. Grixis Dragons, getting it done. Been good against the aggro decks. Being mono blue twice and now mono red once. That was a real nice spell pierce. All right, we are three and one. Yeah, why do I have spell peers in? Follows up, spell pierce is awesome. Spell pierce is great whenever the opponent gets stuck on two lands. I'll give it that, I'll give it that. I guess Esper Exile is ready to go. Let me finish this up. Ooh, play first. Mulligan first. All right, I'll take this. Okay, hey Skip A. No, don't have enough legendaries in the deck for Mox Amber, especially cheap legendaries. That's pretty good. Let me just kill this. Like, I have to do this now before they draw an island. If they just draw it, if they just play an island, it just turns into a 2 2. It's not like something I can respond to. The only reason why I wouldn't really want to do that if they have Deep Root Warrior. Do I, co do I coil the sneak? No. I'll wait for like the 2-4 Lord or... Wow. They just don't have another Merfolk? That's kind of unlucky for them. What are they chilling with in their hand over there if they're not playing a Merfolk? What could those five cards possibly be? Just a bunch of lands? See, so yeah, I wanted to save the coil for like the Lord, uh, the the two two that makes their creatures bigger, or Kumena. Um, yeah, you know, I wanted to see if they had those cards. If they would have gone turn three, uh, Deep Root Waters, where they like make a bunch of little like there where every mer other Merfolk puts in a Merfolk, maybe I'd have to coil it then. It doesn't really seem like we need to though. Oh man, poor opponent. It's a rough life casting sleep when your opponent's at 19 and you just have a 1-1 on the battlefield. <laughs> I have to concede for good karma. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, poor opponent. We had fungal infection and these big drag dargons. All right, that's a combo. They can hit us and draw a card. It's a combo. Combo deck. Kill that. And yes, they, they can draw a card by attacking with both creatures. Um, but you know, whatever. They're at nine. We have nine power in the air. They may have an... Like, I, I kind of assume they have more sleeps. They just fired off that sleep so early before. They don't have two blue mana anymore. It doesn't sleep cost double blue. Yeah. So now even they had a sleep. Can't even play it. Boom. <laughs> Can't just let him win. We we won quickly. That's that's a good you know, a good solid defeat. Had to win quickly. Um Does this look like a good hand or a good good deck here? I guess I probably want these Cry of the Carnariums. Didn't seem like Cry would kill like a whole ton of stuff. Let's take out a couple Dragon's Hordes, I suppose. Or no, Bladewing. Yeah, that looks good. We're basically just like a red black deck splash Niv Mizzet. <laughs> Yeah. So the thing about Thief, sure, they don't have flyers, but I would rather have, you know, removal or something else. And, you know, I don't want to, like, play a turn three Thief and turn four th Ritual of Soot. I don't really like bringing in Thief basically ever, like, when I'm bringing in Ritual of Soot. So, like, that's just not a, a combination that I want. Thief doesn't block at all. Like, against aggro decks, we have to worry about stabilizing. Like, the games we lose are games that we don't stabilize. Thief doesn't help you stabilize. You just don't need it, because you're not going to, like, lose games that, um, you know, like, where you're like, man, if I would have just, like, played a bunch of Thief Sandies. We go first. Hmm. So I just want this third land, play the Sarkin, uh, be able to have Sarkin add mana to cast these things. Yeah, so basically with Thieves Sandy, don't just think, okay, my opponent doesn't have flyers, bring it in immediately. Um, it's not, you know, not the, the best way to be thinking about it. Okay, we got this land. I think we can wait on Cry. I mean, all of the cards in our hand are okay. Let us fight! Yes. <laughs> Perfect. You know, Blade Wing's perfectly fine too, but I think we can kind of be a little greedy here and even like look towards more Ritual of Sets and uh, niv Mizzet and things like that. Yeah, Bedevil is expensive. Um, wanted to make sure to have answers for Kumena. Um, 
And especially if there's like a Kumena with like a Lord in play. <laughs> Don't stop now. Hmm. I know what I'm doing. Okay. I was worried about like a disdainful stroke for Nicol Bolas. Uh, so these died to cry the Carnarium. So do these. So does that. So does that. So does that. These all do. I'll just take this thing that taps stuff. We don't need more of that card. Yeah, Temp Tempest lives through Cry, but that one costs a bunch of mana. I'm not wor worried about that card. Because I'll, I'll cast the Cry of the Carnarium before we get to that. You know, it's it's not like I'm going to wait for them to play every single spell and then Cry of the Carnarium kind of thing. The Cry will already be out of my hand, so it doesn't really matter. That just, like, taps my creatures once. This, like, taps the thing and doesn't untap it. Go on! Hit me again! No, we don't play Golgari too power. much. Golgari's really good. You know, like, this ulti decks, they're really good. Um, usually play some jankier stuff than that. You call that a hit? <laughs> you would concede this game because the opponent's suffering. I'm trying to end the game quickly. Come to me. <laughs> go, little baby Murphy. Go. You can do it. Sneak, sneak. Just gotta sneak around. Nobody will see you. You can do a little sneak sneak. Alright, so the sneak sneak was going to get a little bigger. It's going to be a 3-3 three, three here. Bolus told me I should do this. Dargons. Okay, looks like we're going to the final boss. Ah, uh, no sleep. No sleep. Here we go, four and one. Five win dream still alive, final boss time. Here we go. Um, I don't really do, like, I've had people like donate for like individualized cyborg guides for for them. Um, I've done that. I don't. I don't really. Uh, so like that. That's a thing. Um, besides that, I have I have considered making like doing that like making different videos for like some of my more played decks of cyborg guides with them for the YouTube channel. Um. No, I I assume our opponent was like 0 and 0 that we were played got paired against last time. Thought Razor is an awesome card. We have perfect mana in Thought Razor. Perfect mana, Thought Razor. Pretty good. 
Our deck has spells. See, that's a spell. Um, they try to get you ma matched up by people with like the similar record, um, but but you know it's not perfect. You know they uh, the amount of time spent on uh, getting matchmake also does uh, come into play there as well. Um, so like us being three and one, we could have got paired against somebody who was zero and zero. Yeah. So you had that coil the whole time. See, our deck has spells. That's why we have spells. They're just right there on top of the deck. I just draw spells all day. All right, they can they can have Vivian here. I think I need a Thought Erasure. Yeah, and try to take a Vivian. Raska. Don't want any more lands. Can we get that ritual soot, please? We need some cleanup. Clean up on aisle two. Are you playing it or not? Nah? the uh, Final Fantasy 7 boss theme. Hot shaker. That was annoying. What's their last card in hand they're just not playing? Is it like a cast down or something? Definitely gonna need to draw some stuff, otherwise we're, we're dying pretty soon to the, all these things. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's a crisis. Now they have they have a normal deck size. Okay. It's not looking good for us. Niv Mizzet could save us. We've done okay at drawing spells, um, but unfortunately we didn't draw any dragons. Kind of want some dragons. All right, Nivmiza can't save us anymore. We need Ritual of Soot. We even surveilled the land of the graveyard. Get these Soots. Um. Maybe we should just be taking out Dragon's Horde. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I'm going to just replace Dragon Sword with Fungal Infection. Let's try this. Last time we played two Dragon Swords instead of these two Fungal Infections, but I want to keep these Fungal Infections in. Um, you know, not only kills the Landwehr Elves, but also kills any of the Explore creatures while they are on the stack. And with us playing Thief of Sanity in the matchup, I don't really want to have more... You know, like, we already have Thief of Sanity and Sarkin at, like, the three mana slot that um, doesn't block as in removal. We don't need more of that with the Dragon Horde, I don't think. Yep, there's my referral link for movement watches and sunglasses. Uh, if you place an order, you also get a free donation deck of your choice. Make sure you use my referral link, of course, and also use the coupon code ToddStevensMTG. Get 15% off your purchase. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now, Matthew. This is part of our final boss playlist. We have the three songs. Just killing that because I'm, I'm hoping to just draw lands and just start playing, you know, dragon, 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 dragon. Uh, so I want to do something this turn. All right, not quite. I don't need this. I need this. Ugh. Yeah, standard will look a lot different whenever the explore package rotates out, that's for sure. Oh, they just have contempt for Sarkin. I'll be that's annoying. A dragon would rather die than lose. Hope they don't curve out perfectly with, you know, like, Vivian here. That's fine. Yeah, they can just have a one-for-one -one removal spell. That's okay. Prefer my dive down to protect like the Niv Mizzets anyway. But please just don't don't have Planeswalkers opponent. Please no Planeswalkers. Yeah, they will not be they'll just not be uh, legal in standard anymore. That's my problem with Hellkite is how it dies to cast down. I wonder if I should board out more of those in this matchup. No, they'll still be in Arena, they'll still be in your collection. They'll have a, a different format where you'll, you'll still be able to play the cards. They're not going to be in Standard anymore. Dang it. I had a Vraska. Really couldn't afford them to have that card. They hadn't played it previously, I was hoping they didn't have it. Rage. I'll show you unhinged. Uh, 
Sorgon's not doing anything either. I, if I play Niv Mizza, they just kill it with Vraska. If they just attack me for four and tick up uh, and make a token, I'm probably just dead. I'm just kind of dead. We're looking dead. My crew is the finest in the seas. So we lost four of our five games to Sultai. Um, we had our first one there where I kept a six lander. Um, but Sultai match not spectacular. I think we need, we kind of need a little bit more removal for the little guys, or I don't know. Um, This this card in particular looked really really bad against Sultai. All the car the times we had it, you know, like turning on the cast down, like yeah, turning on cast down and and everything. I think that I think maybe with sideboarding, I'm just supposed to cut all of this Gargan Hellkite card. Um, it can be like a haste, like if they Vivian minus or Vraska minus, you can have like the Hellkite have haste and go and take them out, which is like the best thing it can do. But I kind of think I should just cut all of these cards. Like, honestly, I think I should have sideboarded a little more. So if I cut all the Hellkites and, and maybe the Dragon Swords, but then I think I should be ha I think I should play Duress and Negate um, and all of the Fungal Infections. I think I should have three Fungal. Um, and I didn't bring in Duress and Negate. And I think if, like, the Hellkites were Duresses or Negates, uh, I think that would be a little better. Um, being able to use those to, to protect the other Dragons and everything. Um, and having a, a little bit... Uh, more removal, like maybe this, maybe the Bedevil, um, but certainly the third fungal infection. The li the little creatures are you know really a problem. I uh, I do not want to take Halkite out of the deck, and I don't want to play Demanding Dragon. Demanding Dragon's not that good. Uh, I don't want to take it out of the deck. I like it in general. It's really good against like our other matchups, like awesome against Mono Blue and stuff like that. It's just that specific matchup against Soltai. Um, we saw them both times have like cast downs in after sideboarding, and I, I think that that's that's like a better plan is just to try to make the cast downs dead cards, um, not play Hellkites or Thieves, um, and play just more more of like this removal and counter magic and stuff, and rely on Sark and Nicol Nicol Bolas and Niv Mizzet uh, to take over, which which they can, especially you know Nicol Bolas and Niv Mizzet. Um, I think our curve was just too high kind of thing there. Um, so I think that's what we learned about the, the Soul Time matchup. Um, is not playing this Hellkite and try to be a little bit more proactive against their Planeswalkers with Vivian and um, Vraska. I think I would, I think I should bring in this Bedevil too because, you know, big Hydroid Crisis is a problem. Wild Growth Walker that gets big is a problem. I think you should bring in the Bedevil there. So, there we go. Learned some stuff. So that's Grixis Dragons. Um, um, there we go. So if you are watching this video later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.